Hi, I'm here to talk to you about the Akashic Records, one of the most amazing, powerful opportunities to take an open book test and pass every step of the way. My name is Maureen St. Germain and I am so happy to share this information with you. You don't need any tools to access the Akashic Records. What you do need is a pure heart and a clear intent and practice, kind of like piano playing, you gotta practice. Now, what I will also tell you is it's way easier than learning to play the piano. And a few entries into the Akashic Records and you are suddenly getting solid information. How is this possible? And the answer lies in the fact that we are at the end of an age, we're at the end of an era. And because we are, it's very important for each of us to get past all our drama, past all our emotions, past all our stuff. And the fastest way to do that is to have a tool that tells us why people are behaving the way they are, tell us what we can do to fix it, and then step into that. That's why I call it an open book test. Just like a chemistry exam, they allow you to take your book with certain formulas in it into the exam. When you have access to the Akashic Records, you can turn all of your drama on a piece of paper and write it out and ask the record keepers and they will give you answers. And what's so amazing is not only do they give you answers, but they also give you advice. Now, <clears throat> I have found that the advice they give is the kind you can roll up your sleeves in, the kind of advice that you can put to work for you. My heart opens wide when I hear the advice that they give because so often we aren't thinking much past our nose. And when we ask the record keepers, they give us a much bigger picture. And I'll give you an example of a story of a woman who asked in her records about a roommate that she was going to be renting to. And she had a lovely two bedroom apartment that she was moving into next month. And that month was June. And she asked, how's it gonna work out with my new roommate? And the record keepers said, well, it'll be fine until the luster wears off. And she said, luster, what luster? Is he not gonna stay? And the record keeper said, no. And she said, well, when will he leave? And the record keeper said, in July. She said, of what year? Because she could not fathom that he would move in in June and move out in July. But that's indeed what happened. Now, she didn't stop there. She said to the record keepers, well, maybe I shouldn't rent to him. And the record keeper said, no, keep your date with him because it will lead you to the roommate of your dreams. And what happened is she ended up renting to a lovely woman in August who absolutely became a new best friend. They liked each other's company so much they had movie night once a week for the years that they lived together. Now, that's very powerful information. Even though you don't always get predictive information in the records, you will get answers to questions and they also offer advice. But that's not the only thing. They also give you this amazing feeling of being loved and cherished. I call it the hammock effect because it's so powerful and it's so wonderful to feel that love. When you feel that kind of love, you don't need it from anywhere else. Now, of course, it's nice to get it from other people, but to have that sense of being loved and cherished with such great joy, it's hard to match. And I've actually had clients and students of mine say to me, you know, I'm in the records every day because I like that feeling. It's so wonderful. Now, there are other tools that I identify for you when you go uh, into this practice, and that includes markers that help you know for sure you're in the records. I am so happy to share this information with you. I am so grateful to be part of your world, and I thank you for being part of mine.